Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to import 3D files from SketchUp into Revit. Now the reason why this is very important is even though Revit is kind of taking over the world at this point and we have more and more families out there that we can use in our projects, still it's nowhere near the 3D warehouse for SketchUp that already exists because SketchUp is kind of a simpler program and anyone can start modeling their own SketchUp models and uploading them online. So it's really good to know how to import this huge library of objects into Revit. So here I am in Google, so I'm just going to type in 3D Warehouse. And okay, I misspelled that. And here we go. So I'm just going to open it up. And here you can see you have a large number of these objects that you can load in or even complete projects. So for perhaps a plane, it's kind of hard to find a toy plane in Revit, but you can find one in SketchUp and load it in. Now I'm working on a auto repair shop project in Revit right now. So I'm just going to search for a car lift for my project because I can't find one in Revit. I can't really find a family. So let me just search car lift. Okay, and perhaps let's select this one over here open it up, just go download and you can download what, whichever. I have an older version of SketchUp so I'm just going to download this 2016. Open this up in SketchUp, go start using SketchUp and it opens up like this. So let me just cancel out of that. Okay, so this is what you get. You get this file over here. Now, how do you load this into Revit? Now, because this is a newer version, for some reason we can't really load it in Revit as a newer version, so we have to save it as an older file. So you just go here to save as, and let me go to desktop over here, and let's save this as SketchUp version 6. For some reason, this version works perfect with Revit, so that's what I save it as, and just go save, minimize this, minimize that. Here we have it, so I'm just going to open up Revit, and this is my auto repair shop so I'm just going to go here to level 1 and you need to go here to the insert tab so you open that up and you have this link CAD and import CAD now I know this is SketchUp and it's not CAD but for some reason it's under the import and link CAD buttons so the main difference between import and link link basically allows you to change the SketchUp model later on and then you can just update the link and it will change up in Revit automatically. You don't have to load it in again. So I like to use that one whenever I can. So just go car lift, open it up. And here we have it. Here's our car lift. And it's usually pinned down, so you need to unpin it. And basically, let's place it here. Let's rotate it by 90 degrees. And let's say this is where a car lift should be. And let's just create a camera view inside to see what that looks like. And there you go. So we have our car lift in our auto repair shop. And this was possible just thanks to importing SketchUp files because we couldn't find this in Revit and to model it ourselves would be kind of too time intensive. Okay, so this is pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.